Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So let's see today's daily challenge on lead code and try to solve it together. So today I will share a very interesting O of N solution for the problem. So definitely stay till the end of the video. So let's see the problem. The number of uh, people aware of a secret. So let's try to understand what the problem is saying at first. So on day one, one person discovers a secret. You are given an integer delay which means that each person will share the secret with a new person every day starting from delay days after discovering the secret. You are also given an integer forget. It means that uh, each person will forget the secret. Uh, forget days after discovering it, a person cannot share uh, the secret. On the same day they forget it or any day afterwards. Uh, so given an integer n, return the number of people who know the secret at their end of day n. And the answer may be very large. So you need to return it modulo 1 e 9 plus 7. So uh, if you try to understand this example at first where n equals to 6 and delay is 2 and forget is 4. So suppose of at day 1 what happened is that the first person is A uh, and he knows the secret. He discovers the secret on day 1. In day 2 also he is the only person knowing the secret because delay equals to 2. So it means that after 2 days only that person will be able to share that secret from delay to every day till forget okay so uh, you see on day 3 person a becomes eligible to share a secret so he shares it with one new person and it becomes two people now b also knows the secret let's say and for day 4 you see a can share the secret again but b is still not ready to share the secret because he is still suffering from this delay but from starting from delay till forget a will share every day so now a again shares on day 4 and now three people knows the secret but now A forgets the secret on day 5. So on day 1, A, uh, A knows the secret and forget means 1 plus 4 is day 5 where A forgets the secret and B starts sharing now. Okay, B now becomes eligible because B knew the secret on day two, day 3 and so he can start sharing from day 5. Okay, so B shares the secret with a new person, let's say D. And since A forgets and new person also is involved, so the number of people who knows the secret is still remains 3. And on day 6 you see B is eligible to share the secret with E, B shares with E and C also shares with F, D is not yet eligible because just the day before that uh, he got uh, to know the secret. So he need to wait delay days. So you see B and C got to share and that's why we have only 5 people in total at the end of day 6. So you see at the n equals to 6 it means that at the end of day 6 you will have 5 people knowing the secret. Okay. So uh, if you try to see if you try to uh, see very clearly first thing which comes to mind is that uh, let us say you knew a secret at some day. Okay. Let us say you knew a secret at this day i. Okay. And uh, you can only share the secret starting from i plus delay let us say this is a day, let us say I am telling that these are the some indexes of days. Okay, So let us say on the ith day you got to know this secret and, and in the i plus delay as well as i plus forget. Okay, There are two days definitely. Okay, So in this day and this day starting from this day and this day you are able to share the secret. And in this set day I mean in the forget day so let us say you, you discovered a secret in day 1. So you cannot share the secret in uh, day 5 okay? So because you forget the secret on that day. So in between these two starting from i plus delay till just before this you are able to share the secret. Okay? So you can share the secret if you discover if a person discovers on day i he can definitely share the secret on this okay? on, the, in the, on the days in between these. Now if you try to think a little bit uh, differently if you try to think the problem a little bit differently if you try to realize that how many people how many people become aware I am telling that how many people become aware of the secret on day I if I try to ask you this question what will be your answer so you see on day i, let us say this is a day i, okay, this is the ith day and some x, some number of people become aware to, uh, aware of the secret, okay. So let us say I have a variable aware, 
which will tell me how many people are currently aware of this how many people are aware of the secret right right now or will become aware of the secret okay so something like this and then you see uh, people who got to know the secret in i minus delay days you see people who got to know the secret on i minus delay days is eligible to share the secret on day i are you, are you understanding this okay and also the people who got to know the secret in i minus forget days will not share the secret anymore will not share the secret anymore okay so uh, right now how many people are becoming aware of secret so doesn't this give you an idea of dpy because you are dependent on uh, your current state i is dependent on your previous state okay so whenever you get something like your current state is dependent on pre some previous state okay so this is how you understand this is how you get the intuition that you need to apply some dp here and you see uh, since there is only a single state you can think of uh, you can easily get to say that i mean uh, this is the ith uh, like this will be a simple 1 ddp this can be a simple 1 ddp so if you are getting stuck in the dp problems you can definitely follow my dp playlist i am teaching dp from very basic to advanced so you can just uh, go ahead in my dp playlist and i am taking up one by one all of the subtopics of dp which are there so you can definitely follow that playlist uh, for now let's return to the problem and uh, the you see the currently Okay, so the current state is uh, independent. Uh, in, is dependent on some previous state. Okay, it is actually uh, dependent. Now, how it is dependent? How exactly it is dependent? So you see, you can tell me that dp of i denotes how many people became aware at day i. Now you can definitely tell me that dp of i. I can add this dp of i to something like uh, dp of i minus delay because the people who became aware on i minus delay days are now eligible to share this secret okay are now eligible to share this secret and they will definitely share this secret okay uh, they will definitely share this secret and a total number of people which will get aware okay so what you can do uh, instead of dp you can write aware okay so what i want to say is that you can have a variable which tells you that how many people are aware of this secret right now okay so definitely aware will be incremented by dp of i minus delay can't you say this because on because on the ith day i minus delay whoever people became aware on this i minus delay days they can uh, they are eligible to share this secret on i ith day and also you can tell one thing that aware is nothing but aware minus dp of I minus forget because this many people will now forget the secret so number of people who are aware of the secret decreases decreases okay at the end you can just do something like dp of i equals to aware so it will tell you that how many people are currently aware of the secret okay how many people becomes aware of the secret on the ith day and you see if you try to tell me let's say n days are over okay n days are over but uh, n minus forget okay starting from this many days from n minus forget you see whenever we peep the people who knows i mean uh, you need to see what is the question what is the question the question is that given an integer n return the number of people who know the secret at the day at the end of day n okay at the end of day n how many people knows the secret so uh, at the end of day n uh, starting from n minus forget to all the way till n all the people knows the secret so you can just add everything you can just add everything dp of n minus forget okay uh, plus dp of n minus forget plus 1 so you see uh, dp of n this is if it is one based indexing it will go all the way till dp of n minus 1 i hope you can understand this so yeah that's all that's all i guess for this problem this was all for the intuition part and i feel the coding portion also you will uh, feel really easy so you just uh, you let's say you have a 
okay let's say first i will define this ll long long and i will uh, have another variable aware which is initially zero okay i will also initialize a vector dp ll and uh, that will have nothing but n elements and dp of zero will be one because you can easily understand why it's one right because uh, let's say dp i denotes uh, the number of aware people on day i plus 1 okay i, I plus 1 so in day 1 in day 1 only the first person is uh, okay aware of this secret so i hope you can easily understand that only the first person becomes aware of this secret now uh, what will happen is that you can start from day uh, from, from i equals to 0 you can go all the way till i less than n not 0 right 0 case you have already handled you see the 0 case you have already handled so you can go from 1 and uh, what you can do is that you can update your aware so for updating your aware you can do something like uh, if i minus delay is greater than or equal to 0 uh, what you can do is that uh, aware equals to aware plus uh, dp of i minus delay so i hope you can easily understand why i uh, checked this criteria because this this is used as an index and it needs to be positive definitely positive or greater than or equal to 0 so I hope uh, you do get to realize uh, why is it so and if I just copy this statement and I will just write forget if forget is there then people will forget okay the number of people who becomes aware at this particular day will decrease okay will decrease so yeah you have this forget and you see uh, so that's how that's how it works and if you can just initialize this dpi on the ith day you can say that this many people are right now becoming or i mean removed from awareness or became aware okay so uh, you see dp of i stores something like that and uh, you can just also have an answer you can also have an answer zero now uh, this answer zero uh, what will happen is that you can iterate from i you can start from n minus forget as I told you and go all the way till uh, a i less than n and i plus plus and what you can do definitely answer equals to answer plus uh, dp of i okay so you can do this and definitely you need a mod so let's have a mod at the beginning only where mod is nothing but 1 e 9 plus 7 okay so uh, you have this and you can just have this mod also uh, and you can just return your answer okay okay uh, now if you try to run this and check if it works uh, so you see it's overflowing okay so okay okay so one one thing you need to do is that it is also overflowing from long long so uh, definitely you can apply a mod here you can apply a mod here okay and uh, you know how to apply mod in subtraction if you don't know just go and quickly check it out you can just search is you need to do plus mod modulo mod okay this gives you the same thing because subtracting might give you a negative number and that negative number might uh, if you try to do mod there will be a lot of errors so in order to reduce that thing just add a, a mod md okay you just add a mod md and then do modulo so that's how uh, it's calculated for the negative part that's how uh, modulo is calculated so if you try to run this code you see you do get an accepted thing if you try to sum it uh, you see you got an 100 was an accept accepted because uh, this is a very simple and uh, o of n solution there is not at all difficulty in this there is no difficulty and i hope uh, this approach was at least clear to you and you will be able to handle similar problems so yeah i guess that's all that's all for the video for today and i hope you have a great day ahead Thank you so much.